Hey guys, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech. All right, so today we are doing a masking tutorial for Vegas Pro 15, and this is gonna be a double masking tutorial. Well, I will show you how to do a general mask and a mask transition. Now, what is a mask transition? I will show you right here. Take a look. There you go. So this is basically when a subject within a piece of your video goes by and then we start masking out the elements, removing the elements behind it as it goes by in the screen. Now, normally you would want to do this with static elements, like maybe like a, a wall or a door, maybe like a piece of furniture. So it's really easy to do a masking effect, but for this example, we're going to do this. And within this video right here, I'm gonna do, I have several other Vegas Pro 15 tutorials actually based on this session. So there's a wealth of different things here to learn. All right, so let's get straight into our basic masking tutorial before we get into our mask transition. It'll be really quick. Okay, so to start off with a simple mask, what we're gonna do here is try to mask out Squiggly's face right here from this entire picture. Really simple. So the first thing you wanna do is go to your video clip within your timeline click on the event pan and crop icon within the timeline or within the video clip. Then it should be on position. You want to go to the one below it, go to mask and click mask. Okay, now right here, your by default, your arrow or your, your selection will be at normal edit tool. What you can do here is you can actually click and you can drag around the actual thing. You can use your scrolling mouse to actually zoom in to get tighter, to do tighter masks. Okay, and you can start off there. now. You can either do your mask two way. You can actually leave it on the normal edit tool or you can have it on the anchor creation tool. It really is up to you, but you can go back and back and forth. For this example, we're gonna we're gonna leave it with our normal edit tool. Okay, now within here I can I have complete control. I can move in, I can get closer, and then to start creating my mask, I will hold on the control button and you can see how my hand turns into the masking tool, which is if I would have picked this, that's what would have happened. So I'll go back to my normal edit tool, I'll hold control, and then I'll just start creating points around Squiggly's face. If I need to go, if I need to get back, I'll let go of control and I'll just scroll back. And I can probably move around, I can grab here and I can zoom in again. Okay, and then I can hold control, I'll put a point, it'll bring my mask back up and I can continue my mask. We will go all the way around I remember the smoother, the better, the cleaner the mask you want to make. You, of course, you want to make more masking points, but we're not going too crazy right now for this example. I'm going to let go of my control button so I can move my perspective. I'll hold my control button. I'll click back on my mask points to bring up back my mask. And right now it made a little boo-boo here because I actually accidentally created a new mask. So I will control Z to remove that. And I will try to get back to the point where I created it. Is that... It looks like, okay, it looks like it still kept it. I'll continue with my maths going all around. I'll go here, control. And I'll continue to keep going around the face. And I will connect them and then boom, my mask is complete. All right, now if you can see here how the background actually went black, that's because right now our mode is on positive. So everything outside of the mask or everything with inside the mask that we created, that's the positive space. Everything outside of that mask is the negative space. So if I switch it to negative, there you go. That's This is a negative area that's being shown right now and positive. Now, as you can see, there's a little bluish here. Now, I can actually, I can actually go back and make the, the, the anchor creation points a little tighter or I can actually feather. Now, for this part, since the blue part is out, I actually want to feather inside of the mask that we created. So I will go to in and I will go right here and I'll just press up here and we'll actually see the higher I go, the further, the more the feather goes inside. But right now it looks like one is pretty good. And then boom, that's the basics of actually doing a simple mask. Now let's apply what we learned here to an actual trans transition mask where the actual mask is moving. As you can guess it, we're probably gonna have to do this several times. All right, so this is a result that we want to get. Subject goes by, and as it's going by, we see that it's, it's here, is our, here is our original picture, and as it goes by, we bring in a different scene within the background. All right, so how do we do this? Okay, well, first of all, 
you want your transition object on the top and you want the scene that's going to come in behind it on the bottom. All right, so we will scrub through our image to the point where we want to see where we're actually going to start masking. All right, so right here, this little sliver of a triangle, this is where we're going to actually start creating our first masking point. All right, so I will go to my event pan and crop. All right, it's on my normal edit tool and I will create my first point. So it's in mask, I will hold control down and I will click here, I will click here, I will click here and there and my first masking code. Now, like I said before, anything that's inside the mask is the positive area. This time we want the negative area to show. So we will switch it to negative and now any mask that we do from here on out, it will stay within the negative unless we actually change it purposely. All right, so here we go. Now, at this point, I will just move on to my next frame. I can just slide it over or use the arrow key and boom. Okay, there's our next frame. Now, at this point, we are going, we are going to start manipulating our actual points that we created for our mask. So what I can do here is, it's gonna be simpler if I, do, if I go to the anchor creation tool. I'll go right here. All right, because that little grid that you saw, it can get kind of messy. All right, I'm going to hold the control button now, and the, by holding the creation, by holding the control button, when you are in, when you are in the anchor creation tool, this will let you, this will allow you to manipulate the placing of the anchors that you placed. So check this out. I will hold control, and I'll just slot. Oh, nope, where'd you go? Bring it back up. I'll hold control, and I'll bring it over here. I'll drag it over here, and then I'll drag this one down here. All right, so now you can see it's our straight line, but his back is curved. So what I want to do is add a new anchor point. So I'll place it right here. And then now I can actually hold, I can hold control and then I can just bring it back up here and they get more of a curvature of the back. Now let's go to the next frame. We will do the same thing again. I'll just grab my point. I'll bring it over here. I'll bring this one right here and I will bring this one right here. Okay, and let me add another point right here so I can actually make it a little smoother. Okay, and I'll go to my next frame and we will repeat the process over and over and over again. I'll create another anchor point so I can get even closer. Anchor point. Let's, let's get you there. I need an anchor point right here. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my... Okay, that's looking okay. And I'm gonna stretch this out even more because he's going to be moving throughout the scene. So I'm, I'm, eventually I'm gonna get to a point where I'm actually just dragging this across the screen. Let's make this a little tighter. All right. Okay, and we can see a preview of our of our masking that's going on right there. Now let's move on to the next frame. And remember, the cleaner the look that you want for this, of course, you want to take more time, create more anchor points. But since this is moving, you're not really going to know. And like I said before, um, you normally want to do this on flat surfaces like a wall, a tree, or something where basically it's just a straight line going from top to bottom of the screen and you just basically you just shift the entire thing so you're not worrying about multiple create, uh, anchor points. All right, next frame. Now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stop manipulating the anchor points and we're gonna go back to our normal edit tool, okay? And now we want to start sliding the anchor, we want to start sliding the mask that we have right now over repeatedly every keyframe and the keyframes are what we have right here, every point. So after going to normal edit tool, I'm gonna right click, I'm going to select and I will go all and then it'll bring up this little grid. What I can do now is just drag over my points, go to the next frame, drag it over again, next one, and, it's, and just speed up our process. Now you can see that as we keep going, our, our mask is just getting a little sloppy, so I will go back to my anchor creation tool, I will hold control, control and I will bring these out just a little more, just to make it make it look just a little better, just a little cleaner. Okay, 
right? Go back here, go back to my normal edit tool, right click, select all. It brings me back to my grid. I'll move over and I'll keep sliding. And I will do all of this through the end of the mask. All right, so with all of our masks complete, let's see how it looks. Walks right by, there goes our transition, just like that. Uh, remember, the smoother, the better, the nicer you want it to look, you're gonna have to take more time in applying those masks and creating more mask points to properly uh, give you a smoother mask transition. And don't forget to use the feathering with inside so you actually keep those, um, those deviants away from the mask a little more sharper or in check. All right, guys, really hope this video helped you out. Go ahead, check out my other Vegas uh, 15 tutorial videos videos on my channel. Um, hope you like it. Hope they're really helpful for you. Okay, if you liked the video, go ahead, leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have any questions about this masking technique. Also, until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.